I'm Chris Goodson, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about managing email. We've all been there. You let things slip a little bit, you look up, and suddenly your inbox looks something like this. But there is a way to keep those millions of emails from building up, and I'm going to show you a simple tool that can help you do that. First of all, uh, there are three kinds of emails that I typically get. Stuff to do now, that's when my boss emails me and tells me this has to be done. I usually take care of those quickly. Uh, stuff to do later, and garbage. Let's start with the bottom one because the garbage is very easy because where does garbage go? Well, it goes in the trash can. If you keep these emails deleted as quick as you get them, they will help you avoid problems. But that's not the tool I really wanted to talk about today. Let's look at these top two categories. Stuff to do now is pretty simple. When you finish dealing with an immediate email that has to be taken care of, you can immediately trash it so that you don't have to worry about it anymore. So really that takes care of that. The real problem is those middle category emails, the stuff to do later. It's something that's not pressing, but it's going to have to be done eventually. And those are the emails that kind of stick around. They're emails that you've responded to, but you're waiting on someone to respond back. And those are the ones that end up sitting in our inbox and clogging things up. So what I'm going to show you today is the archive tool. And this is a tool that can help you get rid of those emails and get them out of your site, but still keep them where you can get to. So let's take a look. This is the way we like to think of our inbox. A nice physical place where all our mail just sort of comes, and falls into, and sits there until we need it. But in reality, that's not what our inbox is in Gmail. In Gmail, our inbox is really just a label. And when a new piece of email comes in, that label automatically gets applied to it. That means when you click on the inbox, you're really just telling Gmail, hey, show me everything with the label inbox. Now, how does that work with this archive button? Well, the magic of the archive button is when you press the archive button when you have an email selected, it simply removes the inbox label. And that email just disappears out of your inbox. Now, where is it? That's the important thing because it's not really gone. It's not trashed. Instead, we have to understand that in Gmail, there's something called all mail. It's sitting right down there underneath your inbox, right below drafts. And chances are you've never looked at it. Because when you click on all mail, you see every piece of mail that you have, except the things that are actually in the trash can. That's a big pile of mail, and it's pretty intimidating. But what happens is, your mail's always in there. We were just seeing the mail with the label inbox. Now that we've hit the archive button on a piece of mail, and we've removed that inbox label, that piece of mail goes back in the pile. Now, you may be saying, but if it's in this giant pile of mail, it's lost. I'm not going to be able to find it if I need it again. Well, that's where the magic of Google kicks in. Because with Gmail, we have a search bar. And what we can do is we can search the all mail pile with that search bar. In fact, by default, that's where you're searching is all mail. So all we have to do is type in either the sender or some words in the email or the subject and when we do that, it will summon that email back, and we get the option to put the inbox label back on it if we want to. So here's the archive button in action. We've already said there are some things that we may just want to get rid of altogether. That's what we use the delete button for. But let's say we have a few of these that we want to archive. We want to get rid of them. We don't want to see them now. We want them we want to be able to find them later on if we need them. This maybe is a document that your principals sent you for reference that you don't need now, but you might need later. You can always just check the box on one or more of these, click the archive button, and it'll be gone. Now we're going to remember this one for the stuff the bus. So once we hit archive, it's gone. Let's say we want that one back. Now I'll just go up to the top and say stuff the bus and search and there's that email it's miraculously back and you'll notice if I click it I get the option to move it back to the inbox if I want to. Now back in our inbox let's say we have an important email this one looks important so I'm gonna click it and it says have you done the thing at the place well I'm gonna hit reply and say yes I have and when I send it a lot of times what we'll do is we'll leave that conversation sitting there because well we have to wait on this Chris guy to get back to me. The neat thing is you can actually archive that. Now, but you say wait how will I know when Chris responds? That's where things start to get really cool because when he replies to that email it will reappear automatically. 
In other words, as soon as the person replied back to that email, my Gmail saw that and decided, hey, he needs to see this again. So it put the inbox label back on automatically and put it back in my inbox so that I could see the reply. This way, you don't get your email clogged up with lots of conversations that are going back and forth. You can simply reply and then click archive. In fact, there's even a setting that you can turn on under general that gives you the option to send an archive. When you, when you turn that setting on, you see something different. Let's go into this conversation. Let's reply. And you'll notice now I have a new button, Send plus Archive. When I click this button, not only does it send the email, but it automatically archives the conversation. That's my favorite button in Gmail. So, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's been helpful to you. Good luck with your Gmail.